Hello everybody, Gavin McCormack here. As you can see, this week we're coming to you from the Drake's Passage, which is an 800 mile stretch of water between the southern tip of Argentina and Antarctica, which is where we are heading now. Now this stretch of water is extremely famous for a number of reasons. Number one, it's so dangerous. The waves can rise up to eight meters high. As you can see behind me, the waves are absolutely massive. Number two, the winds here can reach up to 200 kilometers an hour, which is extremely fast. And number three, it is filled with some of the most amazing animals on the planet, including the mighty wolf of the sea or the killer whale. Now this stretch of water is called the Drake's Passage for one reason and one reason only. And that is in 1578, a famous explorer, Francis Drake decided to sail around the world with five wooden ships. That's right, ships made of wood. Today, we're on a ship made of sturdy steel and metal, and as you can see, we are quite safe. But 400 years ago, it would have been extremely dangerous to sail in these oceans in a ship made of wood. However, Sir Francis Drake did exactly that, and he circumnavigated the entire planet. Now, upon crossing these treacherous seas, the world decided to name this ocean after him, and that is why it is called the Drake's Passage. Now, two years later, in 1570, he decided to take on the challenge again. However, this time, he wasn't so successful. In fact, one of his vessels sank, taking all the men with him, including the rest of the gold that he had stolen from the Spanish, meaning he had to turn around and head back to England. Now this week, we want you to research a famous explorer. We want you to understand how hard it is to do something new that nobody has ever done before. You might want to take on the challenge of researching Sir Edmund Hillary, who climbed Everest for the first time, or Sir Douglas Mawson, the Australian navigator who climbed Mount Erebus in Antarctica. But what we want you to do this week is understand what they went through, how difficult it was, and what you can learn from these famous explorers in terms of the way that you live the rest of your life. Okay, Gavin McCormack out. Enjoy the Great Southern Ocean.